For the following exercises, find functions f of x and g of x, so the given function can be expressed as h of x equals f of g of x. Okay, composite functions. I know that it's a composite function because I know this type of notation. We've done tons of questions with composite functions, so hopefully you guys are familiar with that. But the only difference here is that they gave you the end composite function, and we need to find the individual pieces. We need to find what f of x was and what g of x was. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down what notation they want. I'm just going to put it over here. So they want it as h of x equals f of g of x. First thing you got to figure out is which one is the inner function and which one is the outer function. The inner function is the one that's innermost with the parentheses. So in this case, it would be the g of x function. That's the inner function. And the f function, since it's more out of the parentheses, it's the outer function. When finding the piece of the puzzle, you're always going to find the inner function first. I think it's just easier that way. And then you will work to find the outer function. Now, Here's a quick trick. We want to find the piece of the function that looks like it was placed into a bigger function. We're going to watch out for exponents and we're going to watch out for those radicals. You think to yourself, is there anything that is trapped inside? Keyword, inside, inside, inside. You want to find something that is inside, trapped, with parentheses or exponents or uh, radicals. So let's go to the first one. The first one is h of x equals the absolute value of x squared plus 7. Hmm. Is there anything trapped inside uh, something else? Maybe parentheses, exponents. Oh, this, this absolute value looks like it might be trapping something. Yeah, right? x squared plus 7 is all trapped in between these two values, or the two absolute value signs. So I can say that this whole thing is inside. That's the hardest part, guys, finding what is inside something else. Once you found that out, that's your inner function. And they told us that the inner function was g of x. So I'm going to go straight to that. g of x equals whatever you said was trapped inside, x squared plus 7. Now we got to find the outer function. And this is the easy part. What you're going to do is you're basically just going to rewrite the whole thing. And when you get good at this, you can mentally just do this in your head. But I'm just going to show you that you're going to strip away everything that you said was the inner function. So I'm going to erase all of this and put a x in its place. Now, I just want to make sure that we know that the lettering has to match. So if they keep saying, you know, h h squared instead of x squared, this had to have been an h, all right? So, but we're using x's all over here, so we will just say x. And that's it. You just got to simplify this, or just make it look pretty. So I'm just going to pull this out, and it's just the absolute value of x. And there are your two functions to make the overall composite function. That was pretty fun. Let's work on the next one hx equals 1 divided by x minus 2 cubed. Is there anything that is trapped inside? Hmm, it looks like x minus 2 is trapped between these parentheses, so this would be inside. That's the hardest part. That's your inner function. g of x equals x minus 2. So now, for your f of x... You write everything that was there and erase what you said was the inner function. So the inner function was x minus 2, so bye-bye, and you just replace it with a x. And now all you got to do is just clean this up. So this would just be 1 divided by x cubed. So I'm just going to make it look pretty, and that's it. So this would be 1 divided by x cubed, and there you go. Those are your two functions. Halfway through the problem, guys. We're flying through these. Okay, next one. Let's see. h of x equals 1 divided by 2x minus 3, all squared. Is there anything that is trapped inside? Hmm. 
Well, I see parentheses here. Big parentheses. Which means that this whole thing is trapped inside those parentheses. So now, this whole fraction is... Oop. This whole fraction is inside. There you go. You found the inner function. g of x equals 1 over 2x minus 3. So now, to find the outer function, you just write whatever was there. And now, get rid of everything that you said was the inner function, so bye-bye. And you replace it with just a x. And looky there, you just got to make it look pretty. This is just x squared now, so that's what I'm going to write. You don't need parentheses for that anymore, because it's just literally a single x that's being squared. And that's it. Last one, guys. We're doing these so fast, I'm so proud of you. We are doing great. Okay, last one. h of x equals the square root of 2x minus 1 all over 3x plus 4. Is there anything that is trapped inside? Parentheses, square roots, cubed roots. Hmm. It looks like this whole thing is being trapped underneath a square root. Right? You see how this whole thing is being trapped underneath the square? Oh, so that whole thing has to be the inside. You just found the g of x function. g of x equals 2x minus 1 all over 3x plus 4. f of x. You just rewrite everything. You guys can probably do this uh, mentally now, right? Get rid of everything that you said and just put a x. And that's it. I'll just make it nice and pretty. It's just a square root of x now. Look at that, guys. Square root of x. And those are your two functions. And we are done with this problem. What do you think? This was really fun. I like doing these kind of puzzle things. Okay, so we found the two functions. That's what we came here to do. And yeah, so thank you so much for following along with me. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If this lesson helped you, click that like button. And if you want to help us out, please subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for viewing our videos. And I hope you guys are having fun while learning at the same time. I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Keep studying hard. You got this. Bye-bye.